Hello everybody, welcome back to Feed the Beast with me, Burgo. We are back here at the house, and what we need to do is get a diamond gear for our massive refining operation. Now, in order to do this, we're going to need uh, some more sticks. <laughs> so let's... Uh, we can't do that with just one plank. So, let's see if we can find uh, some more logs of sorts. Hopefully... We are successful in that endeavor, maybe. Um, do we have anything? Do we need? Oh, man, do we need to go chop some jazz down? I think we're gonna have to. Um, there's another plank. Uh, let's see what we can do with that. We're gonna want. I think we're gonna want two gears. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to go cut down another tree. So let's equip our Darth Vader axe. Um, and let's let's head down to the forest here. Uh, where the trees think that they reign supreme, and that that is just not so. Let's remind them of the dominance of man, and uh, and the human race. And we're gonna use redstone engines to just beat the crap out of these things. Now, hopefully, our pumps are running strong. Um, yeah, that that actually should be good. That should be enough wood. Um, oh man, look at the floating gardens. They look cool. I want to get some a lot more work done with those. Um, but right now it's kind of on hold. We've got we've got an aquarium of squids hanging out in the pool down there. I'm not sure if I appreciate that very much, but I mean, well, while it's under construction, I think it's okay that they're just chilling, chilling down there. Okay, let's get these sticks made. Okay, let's put that up. Okay, we got a ton of sticks now. Now, I think I want to make two wooden gears so we can make two uh, two refineries. So. We're gonna need stone. Do we have any cob cobble cobblestone? Yeah, we do. Okay, and we've got iron ingots in here. Do we have any gold? Gold. Uh, we have gold dust. Uh, the wrestler. Uh, Shattered dreams. Shattered dreams productions. Anyone? No. Just me. Okay. All right. Let's grab the gold ingots that we do have, um, and let's go ahead and start making this. Oh gosh, we already made wooden gears. What am I doing? What are you guys letting me do? Are you just like? Letting me believe that whatever decision I make is the right one. Good lord. Send me... Ugh. You guys. Okay. Got some iron ingots going on around here. Okay, we've got iron gears now. And we've still got a refinery here in the recipe. So we're going to need to make some redstone torches while we're here. There's our diamond gears and our tanks. Not too difficult to make. Um, oh, man. I think we have enough. Perfect. Perfecto. Okay. We're just gonna let that gold smelt because I mean eventually we're at gonna need it so okay well now let's find our diamonds and where are they here they are okay and we're gonna be wasting about half of our diamonds here well not wasting using using come on look at the bright side okay now we have redstone and red and sticks so we can make uh, we're gonna make four of these so we're gonna make two refineries and we've got wooden waterproof pipes, good. And we've got redstone engines, good. Okay, now let's head back to the old house, the new site of the refinery. Oh, guys, I hope everyone's week was going well. I, I know I kind of just started off with all the all the technical crap that I usually don't, that I usually wait for until like I get saying hello and stuff. But I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, work. I'm gonna give you the quick work that work update. It's been absolutely chaotic <laughs> um, To uh, to say the least they've been working a lot of overtimes working on the weekends uh, That's actually why why the dog pod uh, Hasn't hasn't been on for like two and a half weeks now, or maybe just a week and a half I don't know but that was totally awesome that we got to do the Google hangout and do it live with you guys and had you guys asking questions throwing comments at us is just great i loved it um but i i apologize for its absence at some point i will try and find some free time to where i can get that going again but uh for right now it's just uh it's just not gonna work but okay so we're back here <laughs> obviously we're back here at the house now oh my god what am i doing i didn't bring a crafting table oh dear that's okay, we can make one right now. Fortunately, we have more of the materials we actually need here than we do up at the other house. Okay, 
Now, here we are with our redstone torches and our tanks. One, two, one, two, and one, two. And now our diamond gears. Boom, there are two refineries. Oh, baby. Okay. Now, hmm. One thing that I should have considered prior to this little experiment is, like, we're obviously, I don't think we're going to be able to pump enough oil necessarily to get this to work. Now, like, this is just, oh gosh, this is just baffling. Okay, so we'll get our wooden waterproof pipe set up here. Is that? Bam! Okay, beautiful. Now, we've, we've got that all set up. So, basically, once we get the pipeline finished here, and we send it into these tanks, and then our wooden pipe, um, let's actually... Let's, like, trick these wooden pipes out so that they work really, really well. And we don't have to wait ten years uh, for them. I don't want to put one on top because I feel like that's going to make it look like a bunch of poo. More than it already does. Um, so what these redstone engines do is they pump out the crude oil from this tank once it gets there. To the refinery. The refinery will run. Now I'm not sure if that needs an engine on it to make it run or not. I can't remember. We're obviously going to find out. And then that refines it into fuel. We pump the fuel into the other tank. And now you're thinking, hey, Burgo, uh, I don't think you have enough uh, waterproof pipe. That is correct. So, after, once now that we have that set up, I'm actually going to put this project on hold. And we are going to go on an epic adventure of sorts in hopes of finding a desert. Unless our cacti have grown enough to produce enough pipage uh, for us to produce some more pipes and uh, not just some more enough pipes uh, to get it all the way all the way up here and now one complaint I had about my my own let's play series is that the the like oil pump shed just looks like total crap and I'd really like uh, to make it look less crappy and I was actually looking back uh, I was re-watching the video. I usually do just to make sure I didn't like screw things up royally, which typically tends to happen, but I mean not me. I, I mean, I'm pretty solid, but But anyway, I really want to get rid of this wooden wall area because I feel like it just makes Makes everything look kind of crappy. Let's eat some steak here. Yummy yummy um, So I'm, I'm gonna get rid of the wood uh, that's surrounding everything. I know that kind of leaves us at an increased risk of getting just absolutely murderized by by wisps, um, and that that's a bit of an issue. But I mean, it's something we can live with, right? I hope so. All right. And actually, I'm gonna lie to you. We're not gonna remove all the wood. We're just gonna remove that little bit there. Let's uh, let's go ahead and chop this up. Um, oh, <laughs> I'm hitting my head. Ow. Okay. And that was from that little shield we built to uh, combat the wisps. Uh, as they as they were trying to murder us because they're rude. I don't know why they're so mean, but... And we are still getting a bit of, a bit of crude oil here, so that's good. Uh, we're going to be lowering uh, gasoline prices um, by, by the penny by uh, exporting our fuel uh, to the nations of the world. We're gonna be the new member of OPEC, just saying. It's gonna be great. All right, so one tank is full and one's like getting fairly, fairly close to the first little like main notch there, which is awesome. All right, let's get this wood back. I don't know what I was thinking. Maybe I, I'm pretty sure I wasn't drunk, but it looks like I was by the way I was building things. I think we're just gonna leave like the stone rings up here because I think that looks really cool um, against the mountain. Um, I feel like I tried to overdo it a little bit, the like design of things. And I tend to do that because I'm like, you know, I wanna look like a sweet builder. I wanna be like, you know, kind of hipstery um, in my builds. I don't know why, probably because I'm a tool, but, um, but yeah, I, I tend to like try and overdo things and then they just look at, end up looking crappier um, than they did before. So, remove this wooden wall. 
and then we're gonna head back home. We're gonna let this continue pumping out all the oil, and then we're gonna go on an adventure. Obviously, we're gonna check um, our cacti farm uh, to make sure that some, maybe they've grown, maybe? I, I mean, that'd be really nice if they have. I'm just saying, I mean, <laughs> As a guy that maybe rescued you from the wild, you might want to, like, be nice and maybe come, come give me some cactus. Cactus? Okay. All right, so this is cleared up a bit now, which is awesome. Now, it's going to keep moving down. I think there's still, like, just a ton of oil down there. But we're going to let it do its thang, um, and then we'll come back. Uh, probably, well, depending on what, what we find over at the cactus farms. Um, we're gonna, it'll probably be one or two episodes before we actually get back here. Let's escape these mobs because they're hungry for my meat. Um, I don't know why. I, I probably don't even taste that good, really. Um, yeah, look how close we are with the pipage. We could even dig a bit of a hole through there and just, because I really want to just ruin the landscape um, of this whole area. So we're just gonna like devastate it. We're gonna devastate it all. Um, let's see if I have a bed in here so maybe we can get... Um, Maybe we can get to daytime. No, we don't. Um, is there any third bed in here? No. Do we have any wool or anything? Maybe. Um, no, not looking like it. <laughs> Dang it. All right. Oh, we have an unwanted guest. Come at me. Okay. All right. Let's make a mad dash for the house and the glacier del Burgo. Oh yeah. Okay. And for some reason, my like waypoints are off. I don't know why, but that's okay. I pretty much know, like, well enough where everything is. Oh my god, I didn't know he was there! Holy crap. Get out of my life. Oh, jeez. Man. You thought, like, the back streets of, like, a major city were dangerous? No, this place is way more dangerous. Holy crap. These guys are not happy to see me, that is for sure. Okay. So let's jumpity jump on up this hill. There we go. Let's just try and get back home here quickly. And once again, guys, my objective in all of this, one is survival. Now, I have I think I've died actually a couple times, which is a bit embarrassing, but I mean, we're, we're doing okay. We're not doing half bad, if you ask me. Um, oh God, purple people eater. Ah! Come here. Okay. Ooh, he dropped his brain. Sick. All right. But anyway, we want survival and we also want to have just a gigantic farm in order to make just a ton of food, a ton of cake. Look. Oh my gosh, guys, the floating gardens just look absolutely beautiful. Look at the skeleton. The ever watch of sentry. <laughs> Alright, we're still smelting some gold, that's fine. Okay. Now let's deposit a bunch of oh crap. Bunch of crapola in here. Okay. Um right. Oh my gosh. These chests are so disorganized. It's literally like just infuriating right now and I have like so little space but that's okay okay iron armor I think we're good on redstone will be good on redstone engines we don't need for adventures um, tanks we don't need extra refinery we don't need um, okay that just is full let's uh let's grab these torches because we can put those to good use flint you can go in there shovel will keep you pickaxe you're doing okay but let's take some sapphires just in case. We'll keep some sticks here. Bones we don't really want. Bronze pickaxe you can come. Uh, bucket, you're essential. Um, oh boy, what else do we need? Holy crap. Diamond pickaxe, not, not really essential uh, for this type of adventure. God, we really, we need some more food, guys. Um, let's grab this, uh, that wheat. Let's, uh, let's go ahead. Um, what? Okay, let's make two loaves of bread. That'll sustain us a little bit. Um, do we have any other food? No? Okay, we'll just kill a ton on the way. Um, and we'll keep these logs. Oh, no, let's not keep those. Let's deposit those. We'll keep these, these two sets of planks here. Let's go ahead and make a crafting table, just so we don't have to waste the time later. We'll keep this cobblestone, that always seems to come in handy, but, alright. Let's head on down. 
to the old cacti farm and find out what in the world is going on over there. If it's safe, is it secret? I don't know. So let's find out. Oh boy, we got an Enderman. We have a Creeper. Double trouble. Not very appreciative of their presence, but I mean, not very appreciative of many people's presence and I still have to deal with them, so that's okay. All right, we're heading over to the sand mine slash the cacti farm. And what we should do, actually, I'm thinking about this now. I don't know why I waited until now, of all times, to think about it. Oh my god, King Skeleton has returned. Come here. You dare challenge me. Come here, you foul beast. He didn't even drop anything cool. What a guy. All right, let's uh, let's throw some torches over here, and I'm I'm hoping that helps things grow. Um, I'm not entirely sure how cacti work. If you know, please let me know in the comments, because <laughs> that'll save us a lot of time and a lot of hassle. So, all right, let's kill this fool because he thinks he's cool, just chilling over here. That's not happening. Sorry, friend. Um, let's kill some of these cows over here, though. We need your foods, beef master. Come here. Oh man, I cannot wait um, until until uh, the sun comes up officially. Uh, we can see it on the horizon, but beasts are about. So, and we really need to be careful because we are low on hunger, low on health. Kind of, kind of, kind of being ballsy here with this. I'm not sure I like being ballsy um, about about uh, my life, but guys gotta do what a guy's gotta do, right? All right. We got some more steaks now. Let's kill this cow. We've got full hunger, so hopefully our hunger will be recouping as we move about. All right. Now, which direction on on Earth uh, do we want to go to find some cacti? I don't know. That's the thing. <laughs> I think. Oh man, these red mountains just look fantastic. By the way. P.S. On the other side of the savanna, there's red mountains, which is awesome. But let's let's just head let's just pick a direction. Um, actually, guys, idea idea time. Let's let's close my window first off. Um, in real life, because apparently someone just thinks they need the loudest truck on earth, and uh, it's it's really it's really bugging me. But all right. Let's just pick a direction. Let's head back towards those fir trees um, that we saw way earlier, like probably close to five, six, eight episodes ago. Um, those big tall trees that I said like looked like a big old like forest fortress. Oh boy. Okay, there's the lava flow. There's oh gosh, this is gonna be a perilous journey. I can tell right now. Oh, we have bones. Oh, yeah. Let's get some dogs. You there! Doggy! I employ ye! Awesome. We got him on the first try. Sweet! We have a sidekick. We have a partner in crime. Not that I... Not that I'm a criminal or anything, but... That is how it goes sometimes. Okay. Just cruising along here at the speed of sound. Oh, boy. I hope... Finding cacti doesn't take too long, otherwise <laughs> this could be a long one, team. Oh man. Okay. There's more cows over here. Do we need more steak? We have ten steaks. Let's get some more steak. So we I like my steak medium. Like with the hot peak center. I like it just steaming and juicy at the same time. I'm not a huge fan of having it like bleed all over me when I cut into it. I'm not a big fan of that. Um blood kinda makes me queasy, so Kinda of freaks me out, guys. But let's keep moving along here. You there, cow! Show me your wares. Ah, your friend too. Delicious. Dog, do you wish to join my entourage? No? Oh yeah. Alright, cool. Now we have two dogs on the team. Let's try and get a third one, why not? You there! Oh yes. We have a four-man wolf pack. We're unstoppable. Okay. There should actually be a crafting table out here somewhere. I think I left it here the last time. Okay. We're at the forest fortress. Be ready, men. 
Oh man, this fir trees look so freaking cool. Oh, I love them. They're so sweet. They're so cool. It's just like images like this that just like freak me out. I'm like, oh my god, there could be like some kind of like giant ogre up there just waiting to like rip our shoulders from our like sockets or whatever. I don't, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Take your best guess. Maybe it's up there. Your guess is as good as mine, you know, so. Oh, boy. Steep hills, man. Okay. Heading on up here. How are the, how are the ducks doing? Like, we're fine. We have four legs, and we're better than you, so. <laughs> uh, traveling around these lands, like, because we just haven't done that much exploring. Like, we've hung out mostly in the winter biome. Uh, some in the savanna heat. Uh, just partying and partying, but apologize for, apologize for any lag. My computer, she just isn't what she once was, guys. Um, it's kind of kind of a sad truth. Definitely gonna need to build another one. Which, <laughs> if you've ever built a computer, is actually extremely fun and extremely rewarding. Like you just have so much pride uh, in your machine. It's just like, oh yeah, you don't even mind like buying the stuff for it because you're like. The pride I'm going to experience from building my own computer is going to far outweigh um, any expense uh, incurred for this project. But okay, we're wandering through the forest. La di 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 da. <laughs> oh boy. Now, what are some other projects um, that you guys would like to see me do? I've set up an, a refinery, kind of. Uh, we definitely need to get that functioning. At some point, obviously. Um, but what are what are some other things you'd like to see me do? I mean, there's just an absolute ton of things I can do uh, in Feed the Beast, especially with the Minecraft pack, which is what I'm running. Um, it just has it legitimately has limitless options, um, and it looks like we're crossing into a jungle biome now, so that's kind of cool. Um, all right. So maybe, dude, what if we run into like a temple or something? That'd be really neat. Holy crap, that'd be so cool. But, oh man. Okay, here we go. Anything cool? Anything cool? It's not looking like it on the minimap, except for some like ferocious beasties. Definitely believe this. Oh my god, look at the size of that tree. Holy crapola. That is mighty. Oh, the Arbor Day Foundation would just be absolutely thrilled uh, with this find of a giant, giant jungle tree. That is pretty cool, though. It's really sweet. I think it's a big old fir tree. Let's get that corn seed there. For our mightiest farm, to feed the nation. Oh man. Beyond. The I'm gonna I'm gonna give you guys some potential spoilers here. Um, be on the lookout for a uh, a, a couple new series actually. Um, Lars and I and I think like four or five other people maybe uh, from Dogcraft.net are going to be playing DC Universe Online. This is a free to play uh, MMORPG, which is maybe my favorite genre of game other than maybe like strategy whether it be turn-based or real-time um but i'm very excited to play uh dc universe online with that group of people i think it'll be a lot of fun um i'm totally just so you guys are aware of how i play mmos i'm totally gonna role play uh role play as superhero so be ready for crazy antics um a battle cry <laughs> and it's absolutely going to be awesome and I'm really looking forward to playing with those guys and it's just going to be it's going to be such a good time also um, another Minecraft series will be coming up and I, I really can't say much about it um, I've been asked to keep quiet about it all I'm going to say is there will be another Minecraft series coming up and what the hell have we stumbled upon um uh, if you guys can see in the top uh, top right of my screen on my mini map, uh, you can see some funky colored trees, and you can actually see them on screen now. Um, hello. <laughs> uh, 
what the hell is this? Did I like stumble upon Autumn or something? This is beautiful. Wow. This is very cool. Also, going back to series, as I'm just being awestruck by these like gorgeous trees. Um, there's another YouTuber. Uh, his name is Rowdy. He's from the Australian lands of Australia. <laughs> what did I just say? Let's let's not let's not think about that anymore. Um, but he's from Australia, and we are going to be doing a a survival map called Skygrid. Now, if you don't know what Skygrid is, feel free to look it up. It's gonna be sweet. We're gonna wait until uh, Minecraft Realms comes out, uh, so we don't have to deal with like a third-party server or setting one up ourselves because we're both really lazy and kind of dumb. Um, especially me. I don't think Rowdy's actually that stupid, but <laughs> we we neither of us know how to set up a server, so that that's a bit of an issue. And I really don't want to take the time to learn because I'm a lazy butt. But be sure to keep an eye out on that. For that, on that, for that, I don't know. Um, I'm just so excited for all the things that are going to be happening on this channel, guys. It's going to be so sweet. Um, and as for this episode, um, I think we're going to end it on this little peninsula here. And we're going to keep searching in the next episode for the ever-elusive cacti. Um, I, I honestly have no idea uh, what we're going to look for. I'm going to try and... Let's pull up our big map here. Yeah, we're we're in like autumn land right now. It's probably going to be like Halloween or Thanksgiving pretty soon. I don't know. But guys, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the like button. If you want to be notified via YouTube or email or whatever it is that you prefer to be notified by, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it, guys. I love making videos with you guys, but I, I would just absolutely love to have more dedicated viewers. So, without further ado, we'll see you next time.